India store tens of millions of barrels of crude oil underground as strategic reserves across various locations. In this video, we examine the importance of these strategic petroleum reserves and how they are handled. The 1973 oil crisis began when the members of Organization of Arab Petroleum Exporting Countries proclaimed an oil embargo. The embargo was targeted at Western countries including America, who were perceived as supporting Israel during the Yom Kippur War. This caused an oil crisis in countries dependent on the Middle East for their petroleum requirements. The oil prices in US had risen significantly by four times. As a major consumer of oil, non-availability of petroleum products and steep hike in prices lead to a violent turn of events in America. The United States started strategic petroleum reserves after oil supplies were interrupted during the embargo to mitigate the future supply disruptions. The American strategic petroleum reserves currently have an inventory of 727 million barrels. This equates to about 30 days of US oil consumption levels. Following the footsteps of America, other major oil consumers such as China, Japan, North Korea and Spain also constructed huge oil reserves. According to Internal Energy Agency, its member nations must have strategic petroleum reserve equal to 90 days in order to ensure uninterrupted supply of energy. India have finally woken up to the significance of strategic reserves and established Indian Strategic Petroleum Reserves limited under the purview of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas as a long-term solution to manage oil market. ISPRL maintains strategic crude oil storages at three underground locations Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh, Mangalore in Karnataka and Pajur in Udupi. This reserves emergency fuel storage of 39 million barrels of crude oil, enough to provide 10 days of consumption. Apart from these reserves, construction of new storage facility in Chandikole, Orissa and doubling the capacity at Padur will enable India to store crude oil for the consumption of 12 more days. These storages are in addition to the existing stock of crude oil and petroleum products with oil companies and are meant to serve in response to external supply disruption. Indian refiners maintain 65 days of crude storage. So on the whole, India has overall reserve storage of 87 days. Underground storages and empty mining regions are by far the most economic methods of storing petroleum products. Countries like India and America have successfully explored and utilized such natural locations in the best possible manner. These underground storages and caverns ensure protection from enemy attacks. Since caverns are built much below the sea level, it is easy to discharge crude into them from ships. It is not an easy task for countries like Japan and China to store crude oil underground due to their geographical peculiarities. They store strategic oil in huge tanks constructed on the surface of earth. These are not only very expensive but can also be spotted with the help of observation satellites. Such petroleum reserves are prone to risk of attacks during war. Strategic petroleum reserves are inevitable to ensure self-sufficiency and independence in terms of energy. But the funding requirements of constructing reserves and fuel procurements are huge. The current value of crude oil in America's strategic petroleum reserve is 42 billion. There is a wide range of disagreement on spending billions of dollars on petroleum products to be buried underground. Today, America is one of the top oil producers in the world and is self-reliant. Therefore, they may gradually decommission SPRs in near future. Contrary to this, 
China, the self-proclaimed global power, is engaged in active expansion of their storage capacity. Followed by America, China has the greatest number of reserves. The construction cost of three Indian SPRs and the crude oil procured amounts to 4,000 crore and 12,000 crore, respectively. The sudden attack against the world's largest oil refinery at Saudi Arabia on September 14 demands further expansion and strengthening the capacity of oil reserves in India. Even though the Houthi community of Yemen has accepted their role behind the attack, America and Saudi Arabia charged allegation on Iran as the culprit. This attack leads to 80% reduction in Saudi Arabia's production capacity per day and caused a hike oil prices internationally. Followed by the attack, India is estimated to have a price hike of 6 rupees per litre. 80% of India's petroleum consumption is dependent on imports. Hence, unfortunate events such as war and natural calamities will adversely affect the daily affairs of our country. In nearby future, oil seems to remain a significant source of energy. Therefore, installation of multiple strategic reserves such as proactive measure is the need of the hour.